Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How, How are, are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm good, thank you. How are you? How was your weekend? It was nice. Yeah, what How did you, you do? It was okay. It was nice. What did you do? Well, in my case, I spent time with my family because last uh, Monday was my grandfather's birthday. So we celebrated uh, with a dinner together and we ate cake. And he told us stories about his life. It was really nice. Those stories are interesting. They're nice. Yes. All right. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Miguel. Hi, Evelyn. Maribel, Genaro, Carmen, Giovanni, Hello, Gustavo, everyone. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see one thing here. I hate Simon. On the weekend, I canceled my my Simon card. Why? Because um, I need one. excuse me. I need one. The Simon card? Car. No, man. The, the, the collection department of Simon is, they're crazy, man. <laughs> and um, the thing is, yes, I admit, Metras Ilmes. I admit. But I told them because um, I changed jobs. Cambia trabajos. And I explained to them, so please don't worry, I will pay five years, I always pay. Okay, no problem, Mr. Baltrans, thank you. The next day they call me, hi, we're calling from CIMA, and it was only $22, I think. And I said, yes, I spoke with you yesterday and I will pay. I had a little problem. Okay, and then they... And, they don't notate. They just say, oh, okay, thank you, boom. And then they continued calling. And the problem is, now they didn't call me. They started calling my family, my references. And I said, no, estoy de acuerdo, man. I said, like, <laughs> so, okay, look. So I went, I canceled. And I said, please cancel. I don't want, I don't want to do with you anymore. Oh, que lastima, dejarlo ir. So, okay, we canceled. Y les pregunto, ¿estoy a cero con ustedes? Yes. Adivinen, me vino el recibo de un centavo. Mm -hmm. One penny. Y ya están volviendo a llamar. Can you imagine that? Yes. For no, but one cent. One cent. <laughs> and I told him I'm finished. No. So that was my Saturday fight with Simon people. Pero por un centavo también eh, no entregan eh, en Ministerio de Hacienda hay problema para viajar también. Si uno debe un centavo. Imagínense. No, no, o sea, lo fui a pagar, pero me fui a pelear con ellos otra vez, porque por eso, o sea, la última vez quedé, quedé asado con ustedes, ya, y me voy a mandar a decir por el centavo. Con la chequera lo hubiera pagado. Sí, verdad, es un cheque. Ah, <ríe> oh, ya. Yeah. Y les digo, les puedo pagar en Bitcoin. Ah, <ríe> oh, bueno, pero... Admito parte fue mi culpa, ya, yeah. ok, pero ah, 
bad experience. So, so uh, that was my weekend, bad experience. Gustavo, how was your weekend? Did you see your girlfriend? Yes, I see her. Did you take her a present? No. No, okay. Not this time. Not this time. Okay. And oh my God, it's almost Christmas. Basically in one month, it's Christmas, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yesterday, the police, they had lieutenants everywhere, like stops. Como que si huelen, yeah? It's funny, they stopped me. I was coming from Monsignor Romero, from the Boulevard Monsignor Romero. And there was a long line and they stopped me. Okay, so maybe there were like six cars in front of me. I was coming back from the supermarket and the police woman, she asked me, good evening, gentlemen, hello. Where are you coming from? From the supermarket. Where are you going? To my house. Where do you live? I live by uh, Paso de Hawada Circle. Okay. Thank you. Go. <laughs> no me pidió na nothing. Like, give me your papers. Nothing. Just thank you. Go. Stupid. Como cuando uno va a un banco. Anda armado. No. Okay, pass. <laughs> Remember that. Do you have a gun? No. Okay, come in. Hmm. Okay, so let's start the grammar for today. Let me see. Hold on. Let's finish this. I think we finished with customs. We did the cleanup. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes. Yes. yes sure. All right, cool. It says instructions. Rewrite the sentences. Use the correct form of the words given. Remember to add a question mark at the end of your request. And, okay. Llevo um, para leer instrucciones. Okay. Close the door, please. What is the question? Could you, Could you close the door, please? Good. With you. Close the door, please. Can, can you say, can you, or could you, or would you? Yes. Question mark. Oh, yeah, thank you. Next. Please take out the garbage. Would you? <laughs> it's would you, right? Yeah. Would you please take out the garbage? Now, number three, don't sit here. What is the question? Would you mind? Would you mind not sitting? Not yes, sitting. sitting. Here. Here. Miren, también pueden decir, would you mind? And hasta ahí. Let me give you an example. Imagine you're speaking on the phone. Hola, mamá. 
¿Cómo estás? Ok, good, good. Blah, 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 blah. And next to you is somebody. Ah, the, mira. Uh, and you say, hey, excuse me, would you mind? You don't need to finish because your expression tells you, hey. It's obviously. It's obvious, yes. So you can say like that, excuse me, would you mind? Like when you go to a place and people are eating and they, you know, they make a lot of noise and you say, excuse me, would you mind? Or when you're eating and people start talking about ugly things like blood y todo, and you're like, hey, come on, please, would you mind? So in that situation, in your expression, you finish the question. Okay, would you mind not sitting here? Please take the cat out. Can you please, right? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Please take, take the cat, cat out. out. Can you please take the cat out? Repeat that, please. Thank you. Will you repeat that, please? All right, yeah, could you please repeat that, please? Why the hell is this not correct? Would you mind? Oh, mom. Oh, at the end. He's there, there. Would you mind not sitting here? There. There. There, teacher. Oh, yeah. The could, last one is a question mark. Could you close the door? I think I, it's the comma, the comma. The comma. next the door. to the comma. door. Yeah. The door, comma. Pero saben que sin coma también es correct. It depends on your tone. Yeah. Because if you say, could you close the door, please? Oh, could you close the door, please? Well, it depends. Well, commas depend on the tone. Pero let's see. Could you please Coma. repeat? Coma. This After is that. twice. That, that, coma, please. This is twice. No, this is twice. Yeah, I see yes. something. Hey, wait, hold on. Could you please repeat that, please? Please again? Please repeat that. After that, put the comma. Please move twice. The first please is not. You have please two time. Could you please, could you repeat that comma please, right? The, the uh, space, space next next the comma. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Anything now? Oh my god, I still got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the space. Wait, two question marks. The space. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on. No, pero quiero ver si hasta la misma. Uh, okay, let me see. Yay, I got it right. <laughs> you see, I'm good. All right, <clears throat> let's see what's next. Instructions, listen to the conversation, check the correct answers. All right, let's listen to this conversation, okay?
Can you hear? Oh. Not teacher, no. Not teacher. Listen to the conversation. Now? Yes. 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 Thank Listen you. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Stephanie, have you seen Richard recently? I've left him a few voicemails, but he never calls me back. Is he okay? He never calls me back either, but don't worry about him. He bought a new computer last week. So? So, he spends all day and night on his computer. He's become a total geek. Really? He never used to like computers. Well, he does now. He never goes out and has fun anymore. Two. Hey, Martha, can you come help me? I'm having computer problems. You? But you're such a technophile. You're always surfing the net. Yeah, but I don't know how to do everything. So what's the problem, Barry? Whoa, what are all these photos doing on the table? I'm trying to scan them so I can email them to friends. Oh, scanning is easy. Place the photo here, be sure to put it face down, and then double click on this. That's it? That was easy. Three. Guess what, Eva? I just bought a really cheap plane ticket online. Really? I always go to a travel agent to plan my vacations. Well, you can sometimes get cheaper tickets on the internet. You should browse some websites. You have a computer at home, don't you? Yeah, but I never use it. Why not? What's wrong with it? Nothing. But my roommates are always playing games on it. When I tell them I need to use it, they say they're just going to finish the game, and then it's... Four. How do you like your new computer, Carlos? Actually, Heather, I prefer my old one. Really? Why? There are so many things I can't do. I don't know how to highlight text, drag and drop, or cut and paste. I could do all that on my old computer. And please don't tell me to read the manual. <laughs> Let's take one problem at a time. Okay. I want to highlight those two words. Just use your mouse, like this, and then press this key here. That was easy. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Where are you? So, Stephanie says Richard is? A geek. A what geek. is a geek? What is a geek? It's your matter. A nerd. A nerd. Addict. An addict. Yes. Can you give me an example of a geek? Um, comic ship. Excuse me? me comic ship. Excuse me, what? And call me chief. Comic. Oh, comic, comic geek. Oh, okay, good. Yes, a comic geek, a computer geek. Are you a geek? Everybody's a geek in something. Yeah. What are you a geek in? Ask me something about Harry Potter. You are her oh, I love it. Oh, okay, good. You guys are um, Harry Potter geeks. Yeah, Potterhead. Potterhead, okay. Maybe I am a photography geek. In the same. Harry Potter? Steve Jobs, teacher. Yes. Harry Potter is the best. Good. I'm sorry, Steve Jobs? Yes. But I don't know if Steve Jobs was a geek. He was a businessman. 
But maybe, of course, maybe he has to be a computer geek. Yeah, his friend was a computer geek. Yeah, his friend, yes. Steve Jobs pays computer geeks to do yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. I am maybe a, a, a movie geek. I love movies, but good movies. Please don't say Fast and the Furious or Harry Potter. I like good movies. Uh, okay, so you don't know about the good movies. <laughs> I was waiting for a reaction. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I like classic movies. Yeah. Like The Godfather. Uh, you know, even classic movies, black and white. All right. Barry asks Martha how to. Um, scan photographs. 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 Do you know what is the difference between a photograph and a picture? Yeah. It's photograph is um, take it. For example, do you have a do you have a photograph of your girlfriend, Maria, or a picture of your girlfriend? The camera. Um, the photograph is photograph. a person uh, mm -hmm. for a person. Yes. And a picture? Um, a beach, uh, place. Play. The sun. Okay. The moon. Okay, good. Yes and no. Actually, photograph is physical. Physical material. Yes. Down. Picture can be imaginary. It's like I have a picture in my mind. Oh, I mean, you people say, look, nice picture. But actually, the correct word would be nice photograph. Because I can say, imagine, picture yourself on a boat of the river with Marmabel sky. Es una canción de los Beatles. Lucy in the sky with diamond. And so picture is more an image, imagen. And it can be mentally or physically, yes. Photograph is actually physical. All right? Okay. According to Eva, she uses her computer to play games. Her roommate use... Her computer a lot. Ooh, okay, a lot. Oh, her roommates. Up and her roommates use her computer a lot. Her computer isn't working properly. Her roommates Roommate. use her computer a lot. Heather shows Carlos how to use his new computer too. I said I like it. I like it. Highlight text. How do you say highlight in Spanish? Sombrero. Resaltador. Resaltador. All right, we got them. Listen, I have a question. What do you call el highlighter? Así se llama resaltador para escribir, tomar notas. Es en... Digitador. Es marcador. Like, marcador. like ring. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the problem is a marker is for whiteboards. You can't you can't take notes if you put the marker. It doesn't highlight. No resalta. So, oh, in English, in English, a marker es un lo que le dicen pilot <laughs> or oh, marker. But what is a highlighter? Fluorescentes. Fluorescentes. Los, los Así se llama. Mm -hmm. Marcador fluorescente. <laughs> you know, and the reason is because I recently went to a library. You know, tiene de los... ¿Cómo se llama? Resaltantes, resaltadores. I couldn't explain to her. Los pilots. Los pilots. Los pilots. A los pilots se les pone whiteboard marker. Yeah. Or 
Permanent. Permanent. Son marcadores. Yeah, those are markers. Uh -huh. Entonces, no, in the highlight son los marcadores comúnmente conocidos. High performance, los pilot. Yes, no, but, my, but my question is, what do you call a highlighter? Eso, a los marcadores, a los que vienen de colores no, así en fluorescente. My favorite, my favorite high, high, high color is, is green. I like green, yes. And pink, I like pink. Dark blue. Mm. I love the color pink. Pink and green is cool. Okay, let me see here. Let's do the reading. Let me share the screen with you. All right, I'm going to read to you and tell me if you understand. Dear Sally, we live in a neighborhood. What is neighborhood? Good. Eso jamás en mi vida voy a terminar de entender qué es la diferencia de una colonia, vecindario, urbanización, qué más es? Vecindario, barrio, bar, man. In English, it's just it's neighborhood. So it says, dear Sally, we live in a neighborhood where everyone knows each other and we all get along pretty well. However, a new family recently moved in and now we have some problems. The family's two teenagers play their music really loudly. When we politely asked, would you mind turning down the music? They just looked at us. Next, the family destroyed a beautiful tree. I hated to see them cutting it down. I ran out and shouted, can you please leave the tree alone? But they chopped it down anyway. They also have dogs. I imagine this family is from El Salvador. They also have dogs that bark loudly all day. We've said many times, please keep your dogs inside at night so we can get some sleep, but they won't do it. We don't know what to do anymore. How can we all get along? Dear Slowly, you have made polite requests with no results. The next time you hear, saben que es esto, verdad? Ustedes se acuerdan como cartas a María. En la prensa yes, que no queda. Yeah. So yes, this is something yes. similar. <laughs> hey, does that still exist, cartas a María? Do you remember that? I okay. remember, but, but I don't know it's, if it's, it's still going on. Uh -huh, yes, because all news are online. Being... Everything's online. Do you remember reflexiones? Alguien que se acaba reflexión, even. Teacher, yes. You know, one time I saw El Diario de Hoy del 79, something like that. Y ya estaba ese maestro. <laughs> so it's old. Okay, so I'm going to finish. Dear Slowly, you have made polite requests with no results. The next time you hear loud music or barking dogs, call your local police. That should give those problems of... I'm sorry, that should solve those problems. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about the tree. Try to stay polite and let the police take care of your neighbors. Do you think that's similar in El Salvador? Yeah. Yeah, over here, they don't care. They don't care. How did the teens respond to the neighbor's request? They didn't say they anything. They didn't say anything. They didn't say anything, good. What happened as the tree was being chopped down? 
The new family continue put it down. Put it down. The new family continue to cut it down, yes. What is the problem with the dogs? They are outside yeah, yeah. barking all the time. They are outside barking all the time. Yes. What was Sally's advice? Let the police solve the problem. Let the police solve the problem. Police. Police. Okay, so listen to this. Match the phrases with the um, appropriate information. So before a young man and woman speak, What is this? Mm. Oh, these are customs, right? Yeah. About dates. So before a young man and a woman speak, what happens? They might chat each other on the internet. With each other in the internet. Before they meet for the first time, Usually, they, they usually, talk, they they usually talk on the phone. Yes, I would say that's correct. When they have their first date, they, they, they often meet, meet in a public, a public place, place like a coffee shop. A coffee shop. Okay. After they meet for the first time, They sometimes arrange another day. All right, let's do lesson four now. The objective here is You will expose audio where examples of past, present, and future tenses are used. No lo puedo ver a ustedes. Where are you? Oh, I see you. There you are. Okay. So let's listen to the conversation. This neighborhood has changed. What do you think is a big problem now in neighborhoods? Do you have problems in your neighborhood? Okay, then let's go with the conversation. Let's let's listen to the listening. Maybe the cat pollution. The what? The cats? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Also, I think another big problem in neighborhoods today is cars, the parking. Yes, teacher, because some neighbors are parking in two or three lines. Places. Yes. And um, some houses, they have three or four cars. It, like everybody has a car. And um, do you know that in the United States, in some cities, you can't park in La Calle, in the sidewalk. You can park, but like to visit, but the hell in la noche, you can't. You have to park in the driveway of your house. Si no, se lo llevan.
Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. So what tenses did you hear? Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different... They drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us. Okay. Okay. This is simple. I don't know what present they're talking about, but I, I recognize present perfect and simple past. So El Salvador has changed in 20 years, correct? Yes. Do, la mayoría aquí estamos treintones para arriba, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh, no. Yes. La, la mayoría. Yes. De... So, so, <laughs> so, do you remember El Salvador maybe 20 years ago? How has it changed? Simple, pre okay, now I'm, I'm speaking past. El Salvador, 20 years ago, present, there is more traffic now. There are more buildings now. Correct? Not correct? Yes. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, yes. 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 So what, what do you think has changed in 20 years in El Salvador? Oh, yeah. The service in the public uh, bus. The, the public transportation service. Yes. It has changed, really? Yes. For the better bus, or the worse? Bus, the bus. Uh, the the bus. Um, uh, it's true and, because yeah, no hay microbuses, right? Microbuses. Only coasters and 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 um, buses, correct? Excuse me. Las pequeñas que les decían Yeah, it's true. I remember the micro micro buses. Yo no cabía en eso. Yeah. So in your opinion, Miguel, the transportation service is better now or worse? It's the better. Okay. Imagine it's better now. <laughs> Can you imagine 20 years ago? It was terrible. 
Yes, because I remember 20 years ago, there were chicken buses. I remember La Chula, La Vanessa, La, uh -huh. la Caterina, La Caterine, La Nena. <laughs> Okay, let's listen to the time contrast. Hello everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column, we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays, and of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future. Will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then, present expressions, currently, in the meantime, now, future expressions, in the next couple of years, next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Hey, look. Maybe if you can think of an example, I will give you an example of past, present, and future. <clears throat> 20 years ago, we used to use public telephones. Remember? The public telephones, do you remember? Yes. Yes, I remember. Yes. yes. Telecom. Okay. Yeah, telecom. So, okay, so listen to this. 20 years ago, we used public telephones. Today, we use cell phones. Maybe in the future, we will use chips. Mm -hmm. You know, like chips, like, hello. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Um, dicen, estaba viendo, por cierto, la película Regreso al Futuro. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. yeah. Dicen de que en eso fue lo único que ellos nos acertaron del impacto en el cell phone. Porque acertaron a, a la tele digitales y todo. He said, nunca se le olvidó cell phone, the importance of cell phone in the future. So, 
20 years ago, we used public telephones. Today, we use cell phones. Maybe in the future, we will use, what do you call that? Um, I don't know. Programs. I, I, yes. Telepathy. Telepathy. <laughs> Something, you know, like, <laughs> yes, you will have a chip inside. Ding. Hey, what well, yeah, Cassie with Bluetooth. <laughs> you know, you can speak in your car. All right, so do you see the past, present, future? Yes. 20 years ago, people pay you in check. Now they deposit to your debit card. Maybe in the future, well, yes, yeah, it's the future. Virtual money like Bitcoin or. Yeah. Yes. And your own wallet. I think about the same this time. Yes. Okay, look, I will give you an example in the past and you finish the example in the present, okay? Gustavo. Tell me. Ten years ago, Aguila used to be good. Okay. Um... Today, Today. I don't, I don't, oh, wait, 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 let me change, let me change, let me change. Okay. Esta Mahovia. 20 years ago, Firpo used to be very good. Um, okay. Mm. Um, today, can, can I use today? Yes. Or, okay. Today, now, in this okay. time. Okay. Now. They suck. Oh, no. Okay. No, has been recovered a little of his greatness. No. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, five years ago, I stayed at second division or third division. Yes, but they buy. They pay. <laughs> the categories. Um, yes, but they stay in the, the category. They buy it, yeah, but they stay. Yeah, but you see, they're not great. They're not the Firpo 20 years ago. I remember 20 years ago, it was Alianza Fas, Aguila Firpo, Alianza Fas, yeah. Aguila Firpo, Alianza Fas, Aguila Firpo, the four. But now, it has been recovered a little. Yeah. Now Firpo is... Like, yeah. Okay, good. But, Yes, you like Firpo. Yeah, oh. yeah, it's from the region. All right. Melissa, hello, are you there? Yes, I am, teacher. Melissa, where do you live? Oh, Santa Ana, right? Santa Ana, yes. In the year 2000, Excuse me, Melissa, how old are you? I'm 27 years old. Okay, maybe you don't remember, but in the year 2000, around 2000, a cool place to go in Santa Ana was El Molino. Um, now, no, I, no, no, it's El Molino. It was a bar. It was a... It was like um, like where cool people went. Oh, okay. it was it was like going to El Molino and Santa Ana is like here in San Salvador going to I don't know those discotheques and bars in La Gran Villa or exclusive rooftop. Mm -hmm. rooftop and yes. So I remember in Santa Ana 20 years ago, maybe or 15 years ago. Um, the play, it was the, the hip, hip is the cool, right? Hip, the hip place was El Molino. Now I don't know. Uh, nowadays the best play is, I think, Clubbers. Clubbers. 
Clovers. Clu clovers. Clovers. Oh, okay. Like, okay, cool. Yeah. The future, I, I don't know. Yeah, okay. No, good. I, yeah, I it's, it's, <laughs> No, but that was very good. That was very good. Thank you. So 20 years ago, the best place was um, El Molino. I remember it an entrada by Metro Centro. So it doesn't exist anymore. Okay, um, Evelyn. I was six years old when. Yes, you were six. Estoy <laughs> bien. <laughs> okay, Evelyn. Yes. Fifteen years ago, the best place to go to in San Miguel was Papagayo. It was like cool. It was Papagayo. And today, I think it's not a good place to go. I'm sorry. I'm, uh -huh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Es que oí un ruido. Se oye, ¿verdad? Yes, to usted. Okay. It sounds like you're in a motorcycle. Um, I don't hear any, any noise. Okay. No, it's okay. But um, okay. so, it, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing. Really? Yeah. I don't hear any noise. Is your, is your telephone or something close to your, are you oh. in a laptop? Yes. Now? <laughs> Move the cable. Perfect. Okay. Hey, all right, Dan. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Dan. Thank you. That, that was perfect. So, 20 years, 15 years ago, the best place in San Miguel was Papagayo. And now? And today, I think Papagayo is not, is not a good place to go. Why? Is it dangerous? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I really don't know. Which no, because is the like best. 15 years ago, yeah, it was like, it's like the top, the top. Yeah, of the yeah. It was like you have to be exclusive to go in. To go, yes. It's like, okay, come in, uh, come in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I remember yeah. San Miguel. It was cool. All right, Daniel. Hey, teacher. In the 90s. In the noventas, in the nineties, popular music in El Salvador was salsa and merengue. Remember? Mm, pop music. Um, no pop, pop the popular music. The popular music in El Salvador, uh, it was salsa, merengue. Yes, uh, much uh, salsa and merengue, y cumbias. And yes, in cumbia. cumbias. And now? And uh, now, and uh, now, um, uh, music. Um, the popular music is? The popular music, um, reggaeton, uh, um, um, electronic. Yes, it's true. And electronic. Yes. Can you imagine? Ugh. Good times back then, good times. I remember when El Gato Volador came out. El Gato Volador. Me quedé, que cosa más estúpida, man. Like, oh my God, what an ugly music. Y hoy, no estaba tan mal comparado a lo de hoy. It's like, yes or no, Miguel, you're a DJ. La mayonesa. Yeah, mayonesa. I remember mayonesa. <gasps> <laughs> oh man, I danced all that. <laughs> I danced. <laughs> I am not DJ. Mr. Oh no, no, yeah, you're not. I'm sorry. You you organize events, correct? But you don't have a DJ, no. I use the DJ, but no. But I, you don't DJ. Is, no, I don't DJ. Uh, but uh, uh, my work is uh, shows. In the place. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. hey, I remember Mayonesa. I remember in the 90s, there was a band, um, Vilma Palma Vampiros. 
Man, they were famous. Yes, that I am American. Yeah. Um, I went to see them in concert like two or three times. It was good. All right, let me see. Giovanni. Hello. Giovanni, you're 40, correct? Yes, exactly. All right. A long, long, long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> a long, you. Be specific, you. please. Yes, I'm not going to be specific. A long, long time ago. The Flintstone. The cool place to go, the cool place to go was La Zona Rosa. Yes. Do you remember? Yes. Oh man, it was so fun. Everybody in the street, drinking, having fun. No cars, people drinking in the street in El Triangulo, remember? And now? And now, um, um, I, I can say uh, right now the, the best place, uh, for example, my friend and I, uh, we visit uh, <laughs> uh, La Olavetos. Okay, good. Oh. Do you remember, do you remember Los Capulines? No, I don't know. Oh, oh but no, no. Era, era santo entonces. <laughs> because Los Capulines I was, was. I was. Yeah, you was. Yeah. yeah, Los Capulines, it was a cool bar. It's a dark place. You you know Los Capulines, Carmen? Oh, no, I didn't go, but I listened about this place. Yes, it was a famous bar because it was ugly. It was very ugly. There were chickens. Pero era super barato. Entonces, everybody went to Los Capulines. Like at 7 finish at 11, happy, and then go to La Zona Rosa. Because La Zona Rosa was very expensive. Oh, good days, good days. <laughs> Genaro. Hi, teacher. Hello. Genaro, aunque no lo crea, in the 70s, in the 70s, La Selecta was good. Yes. And now? <laughs> and now um, it's bad. Yeah. I, I, bad is I not a good adjective. Now it's embarrassing. Uh, more. Now La Selecta is only experience. Ganamos experiencia, ganamos experiencia, ganamos experiencia, ganamos. No me importa el resultado, pero ganamos experiencia. <laughs> but the, uh, the select uh, players uh, mm -hmm. was invite, in, invitados. Invited? Invited for the Mundial. Is the same, the fearful. When were they invited? In the 70 de, uh, years ago. They didn't qualify? No. Only España, Spain. <laughs> oh my God, I did not know that. Oh, now you left me homework because after class, I'm going to read that. <laughs> I'm going to check that. No, you know, actually the Selecta in the 90s was good with Milovan. Remember Cienfuegos, Diaz Arce, uh, Bicevich, De Melo, man, they had a very good team. All right. Yeah, it was good. Very good, Celeb. Yes, I went to every game, every game 
I remember the game was maybe at three or five, and at six in the morning, the stadium was full. And everybody jumping. Y terminamos perdiendo otra vez. Pero, more experience. <laughs> yes. I remember five years ago, DACA was the national airline. Correct, Carmen? Yes, teacher, but now DACA is a company member of, of Avianca Holding. Okay, national. Good. Is it still national? No, or semi-national? Only the employees are contracted by DACA International Airlines, but the commercial brand is Avianca. Okay, all right. Now the national, the national airline is... Volaris, right? The president said that. It's Mexico. No, the I'm sorry. The, the actual president said that. He Volaris said it. Is a nut. But is it or no? Only the operational permits. Oh, okay. With, uh -huh, with a brand located in El Salvador, yes. Oh, okay, okay, I understand. All right, cool. All right, so tomorrow we will practice that, okay? So, todo me van a decir algo. In the past, today, and maybe in the future. Like, like my example, remember? 10 year, uh, and 20 years ago, we used public telephones. Now we use cell phones. Maybe, porque decimos maybe, or in the future? We don't know. We assume. <laughs> so maybe in the future, we will use chips la selecta maybe in the future they will use the experience <laughs> que han generado en 40 años de all the experience maybe in the future la van a poner a prueba yes okay class thank you very much have a happy monday i will see you tomorrow oh. goodbye, goodbye teacher bye. 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 everyone